What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about the Giganotosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion and some of the mysteries surrounding that dinosaur. How Biosyn was able to make the animal and why it had such a minuscule role in the last movie. Now when it comes to this particular animal, we've had two other creatures in the franchise that have tried to one-up the T-Rex in previous movies. The first of which was the Spinosaurus, which had a lot of mysteries and secrets of its own in Jurassic Park 3. And the other one happened to be the Indominus Rex which Jurassic World went out of its way to say that it was cloned specifically to be a new attraction that was bigger than the T-Rex. But when it comes to the Giga in Dominion, some of the information that the Jurassic World brand let the fans know and even hinted at in other media never made its way to the big screen with that movie. Such as the information about InGen already having Giga DNA back in 2015 when they cloned the Irex for use in the park. In fact, the Indominus actually has Giganotosaurus DNA in it and this was something Something Camp Cretaceous material pointed out before the third Jurassic World movie was even released. Which leads some people to ask questions like, why didn't InGen clone the dinosaur for use in their theme park? And why did Biosyn make one? for their sanctuary. Well, as far as the Giga's creation goes, we know that after the events of Fallen Kingdom, the DNA from Jurassic World fell into a whole bunch of different hands after the breakout from the Lockwood Manor. So Biosyn getting a hold of the Giga DNA isn't really that hard to explain, but still, why did they clone one, put it in their sanctuary, and not make too big of a deal out of it? I guess the easy answer is to just say that they did it because they could, but even if they wanted to use the dinosaur for pharmaceutical research or just behavioral studying, like what we're led to believe Biosyn is doing in the movie, it's still a bit strange that they'd put the dinosaur in the same enclosure as the Jurassic Park T-Rex, knowing full well that two apex predators would be drawn to fight. On a different note, if we stop talking about lore and just start talking about the structure of the movie from a filmmaking perspective, I personally find it kind of weird that the Giganotosaurus is presented to the audience as this new big bad dinosaur, Alan Grant even calls it the biggest land carnivore that has ever lived, and yet the only scene we get dedicated to it doing anything thing is when it attacks the characters near that Biosyn Observatory. From a movie perspective, I think it would have been way more interesting to the audience if we got to at least, you know, see one more scene where the Giga eats someone or at least is shown to have some sort of underlying attribute that sets it apart from the T-Rex, Spino, and Indominus. I know that point is less lore-based, like I said, but still, a giant mystery about the dinosaur for me, as a fan, is why the filmmakers didn't really want to do anything with it. As for InGen, remember, they're the ones that created the DNA that would eventually be used to clone this dinosaur. And it's not featured in Jurassic World's theme park at all. Instead, they jumped to making a hybrid dinosaur that had never been done before, so I do wonder, why didn't the company want to make this animal that they already had some DNA synthesized for instead? Unless there's some unknown reason that InGen felt the animal needed to not be made? I don't really know what kind of answer we have here. It looks like, to me, the dinosaur was originally supposed to be way more important than it wound up being in the final film, and we just don't have any of the information necessary to explain its relevance because not even any of the setup material that we were given in the expanded universe is shown in Jurassic World Dominion. So questions like, why didn't InGen clone one of these dinosaurs for Jurassic World? even though they had DNA for it? Why did Biosyn put one in the same enclosure as a T-Rex? Or why did the Indominus get attributes of the animal despite the fact that they never made one first? Those are all kind of interesting topics that I think surround this dinosaur once you know more about its bigger story. I know that the big answer, you know, the reality of the, all this stuff, guys, to questions like this is simply because the filmmakers didn't think to write anything about that. But now that the dinosaur is an official part of the live action franchise in a big way, I think that it could be expanded upon greatly if the creators see fit. Think about it. What did Jurassic World Dominion honestly tell us about the Giganotosaurus in that movie outside of the extended cut where we see that one is capable of killing a T-Rex 65 million years ago? What information do we have on the animal from that film that actually helps explain it as being as important as something like the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3, which also didn't have much information given surrounding it, but even the Alan Grant line of it not being on InGen's list was enough to help set that dinosaur apart from the rest by being some kind of unknown secret. If you look at the Giga, there was all kinds of stuff behind the scenes about the Indominus Rex building up its DNA, InGen already had it, Biosyn clone when they put it in their valley, but it's kind of secretive and we don't really have a spotlight on it at all, so what's going on there? Is it just a dinosaur that you want to introduce the fans with, you know, here? 
here's another one, or was there something more serious at play here behind the scenes that just got left on the cutting room floor or didn't get translated to the big screen because of rewrites? Anyways guys, these are all just my own thoughts and opinions on the animal. What are your thoughts on this dinosaur from Jurassic World Dominion? How do you think the filmmakers will expand upon it in the future? Why didn't Engine clone one for Jurassic World, and what did you think of its usage in the last movie? Personally, I'd love to actually see something of relevance relating to the Giga down the line that actually has it, you know, be some sort of important creature. And I'd actually love to have that happen for all of these secretive animals, Allosaurus, Spinosaurus, whatever they could do. But hey, whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens and engine executives as well as all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. You've all helped my channel immensely, and I'm incredibly grateful for all of that support. Now I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope that you enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you all consider subscribing. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.